Hello and welcome to the FTDI D2XX driver installation for Linux. First step, go to the ftdichip.com webpage, left hand margin, and click on Drivers. Under Drivers, go to D2XX Drivers. Scroll down until you reach the Linux row. For this demonstration, we'll be using the Intel 64-bit drivers for Linux. So click on the 1.4.6 hyperlink and this will be saved to the downloads directory in Ubuntu Linux. Let's go to the downloads directory. You can extract the driver files by using the tar xvf command. We then copy the required driver files over to the user local lib directory. Change directory to user local lib. We will need to link the driver library. Oops. And we also need to change the mode, change the permissions so everyone will be able to access the driver file. So sudo chmod 0755. We then plug in an FTDI based device. Keep in mind from plugging in FTDI devices in Linux, the default F VCP driver will be loaded. This driver is incompatible with the Linux driver and must be uninstalled using the rmmod command. Let's go to the release directory again and change the examples directory. We now need to build the executable files by running the Linux make command. Now we will run some example code in the EEPROM directory. This code will simply read the USB descriptors from the attached FTDI device. Here is the contents of the read directory. All the files seem to be in place. To execute, all we need to do is type sudo dot slash read. And as you can see, all the USB descriptors have been read from the attached FTDI device indicating the D2XX driver has been installed correctly and this concludes the FTDI Linux D2XX driver demo. Good day.